How's it going, people? I'm on vacation at my dad's place in Minnesota. This is Bonds Lake. And get another page read. Seven persons, women and children, found means to conceal themselves and escape the ruin. While the Romans approached, these seven related to them these horrid events. Speaking of, of Masada. Mm. Upper Canada. First time. I like it. <clears throat> Most of the remaining places now, through sullen despair, gave up all opposition and submitted to the conquerors. Thus Judea became as a desolate wilderness. And the following passage in Isaiah had at least a primary accomplishment. Until the cities be wasted without inhabitant and the houses without man and the land be utterly desolate, and the Lord have removed man far away, and there be a great forsaking in the midst of the land. A line of prophecies is found in the sacred oracles, which relate to a signal temporal destruction of the most notorious enemies of the kingdom of Jesus Christ. Those were to have a twofold accomplishment. First, upon the Jews, and secondly, upon the great Antichrist of the last days, typified by the infidel Jews. That sucks. Accordingly, those prophecies in the Old Testament are ever found in close connection with the Millennium. The predictions of our Savior in Matthew, Mark, and Luke are but a new edition of these sacred prophecies. John, I guess, didn't need to mention it because it was already covered thrice before. It is so indeed, and more. It is also a denunciation of the destruction of the great Antichrist of the last days. The certainty of this will appear in the following things, as New Testament writers decide. The Thessalonians, having heard what our Savior denounced, that all those things he had predicted should take place in that generation were trembling with the apprehension of the coming of Christ predicted would then very soon burst upon the world. Paul writes to them in 2 Thessalonians and beseeches them by this coming of Christ not to be shaken in mind or troubled with sudden, wait, be troubled with such an apprehension. For that day, that predicted coming of Christ, as is related to others besides the Jews, was not to take place on that generation. It was not to come till the anti-Christian apostasy came come first. That man of sin was first to be revealed. This long apostasy was to be accomplished before the noted coming of Christ 
in its more important sense be fulfilled. After the Roman government, which hindered the rise of the man of sin, should be taken out of the way, uh, Paul says. Then shall that wicked one be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and destroy with the brightness of his coming. Here then is the predicted coming of Christ, in its more interesting sense in the battle of that great day which introduces the millennium. Here is a full uh, decision. Here is a full decision that these noted denunciations of Christ alluded more especially, though not primarily, to the coming which is still future. That explains it. All right, that's it for page 24. <sighs> Moving right along. Not even my vacation can stop me. Anyhow, I'll try to do some more before I leave. But I'm going to do some fishing now. Stay tuned. Let me know if you learn anything. Peace the fuck out. Have a wonderful, whatever the fuck it is you're having.